you! It's a nice simple harmonic motion you got going on there. Stop. Running is a great example of simple harmonic motion. As you may notice, as you run, you take one step and then another. But what you might not notice is that every step that you take, your legs pass through a central medium, much like a pendulum. Okay. Hey, man. What's up, man? Big longitudinal wave. I know. <laughs> wow. Longitudinal waves look like this. If my hand was the wave, this is what it would look like. A transverse wave looks like this. Reflection. Reflection occurs when light rays, or any real kind of wave, bounces off of another medium, and most of it, or all of it, is reflected back. <laughs> this is how mirrors work. <laughs> mirrors, mirrors are a result of, of reflection. reflection. This occurs because waves re uh, reflect off of the mirror, which is a bad absorber. And, they, and when they bounce back, the light also reflects off of you, so you're able to see yourself. Yepers! Hey Ben! What's up? Guess what time it is? I don't have my watch on. Uh, <laughs> fraction! Uh -uh. Yeah, that's right. This pencil right here and this glass of water is the best example of refraction we can pretty much find in the world. In the world. Refraction is the second phenomenon of waves. Basically what happens is there'll be some sort of wave traveling and suddenly it will meet with a second medium. This will cause an object to appear skewed. It makes the pencil appear that it is split and also it has become larger due to refraction. The speed of a wave changes as it travels through its medium. As the wave travels closer to the medium it begins to slow down until it passes it and then it starts going back towards the medium. All right, for an example, I'm gonna use this Burt's Bees, Beeswax Lip Balm for the medium. And I'm gonna use this dolphin to represent the wave. Now, as you will see in this example, the wave will move, and as it reaches its medium, it will slow down. As it continues to decelerate, it will decelerate until it stops. Then it will come back up and decelerate as it reaches its medium, and then stop go back down, decelerate as it reaches its medium, and continue to do this. And as it completely comes to a stop, it will center at its medium. Measurable wave properties like, like velocity, frequency, and wavelength can be easily explained. This resembles a transverse wave. <laughs> now we'll be discussing mechanical and electromagnetic waves. Hey! What do you mean? Does this have anything to do with light? No. The difference between electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves are that electromagnetic waves are basically any kind of wave that is emitted by accelerating through an electric charge, like electrons in an atom. And mechanical waves are pretty much any wave like a transverse or a longitudinal wave, any wave that is not an electromagnetic wave. Because transverse and longitudinal waves are examples, they move by not moving any actual matter. They just move molecules in the air, which hit into each other until they reach a destination. That's what a mechanical wave really is. And that's the difference between electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves. Constructive interference is when two waves reinforce each other. That's right. Doubling their amplitude. Destructive interference is when the trough of one wave meets the crest of another. This causes them to cancel out. The Doppler effect is an effect that occurs that alters the pitch of an object due to its distance relative to you.
What are you doing? That's not harmonic motion. That's because I'm trying to demonstrate non-harmonic motion. Okay. Well, explain this non-harmonic motion. Non-harmonic motion is when any object does not move with some sort of pattern. All right. Um, essentially, the characteristics of a uh, standing, wave. standing wave are simply that when the wave starts, it will go up like this, back down, and at this one point of the wave, it will be aligned with the beginning of the wave. So it goes like this, and it aligns. All right? That's basically what the characteristic, that's what makes a standing wave. At one point, the wave will have... The, wa the wave is basically combined it's to make one much bigger wave. Yeah. It has to have nodes, this is what they call it. Exactly. Basically. So, we're going to try to explain our best what a standing wave is. So let's give us a try. Give it a second. There we go. Three, two, one, action. All right, this is our best explanation. This is a wave. This is also a wave. All right, essentially is what's gonna happen. The waves, if they're traveling, we'll say it's traveling along a pipe, right? They're gonna come along and bam, whoop, stop right there. The total noise, this is like the medium amount of noise this is making right now. Let's see the medium. Whoa, not, not doing too good. Now, what's gonna happen is these two waves are gonna come closer. Um, suddenly, look what's happened. Whoa. Now, as they move even closer. Whoa. Now, look what happened. All right, now they're gonna move even closer. And now, look what happened. Whoa, it's a big wave. And, they finally... and essentially, when they are fully have combined, Oh, that's what it looks like. So, that's basically how a standing wave is formed. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Mirrors are a result of reflection. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Takes it. 25. <laughs> hey, Ben. Yeah? What's that sound? <laughs> Refraction. Refraction. Oh, wait, that wouldn't make any sense. It doesn't make a sound. <laughs> it doesn't make any Crap. sense. Crap. <laughs> hey, Ben. What's up? Wait, 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 what time is it? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, it's time for an example. This chapstick, or bees, beeswax. <laughs> lip balm will resemble the medium and this dolphin will resemble the wave ty beanie baby uh-huh mm -hmm. here he goes as it goes towards the medium the wave will pass it and slow down then speed up or slow down even more <laughs> measure a wave properties like <laughs> Measurable wave properties like velocity, frequency, and wavelength. What, what are we gonna, gonna say after, after that? that? <laughs> All right. Electromagnetic waves are waves like ultraviolet waves, microwaves, radio waves, gamma rays, and uh, other ones. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. This grass is longer than the other grass. So wait, two waves. Destructive could, interference is when a is wave... When two, two waves cancel each other out. Yeah, basically, when, basically when the... Um, what do you call it? Right the, there, the, that's uh, where the bear the sleeps. Crest. When the crest of a... Of... Alright, so... Uh, go ahead, is it going? Alright. Constructive in... I, I'm saying it. I haven't said anything in a while. What? You've yeah. said everything. Alright, let's go. I said the first two things, and he said everything else. Lies. Alright. Destructive interference is when the trough of one wave meets the uh, crest of another. This causes them to fail miserably. 